Buenos dias, mi gente. Good morning. Buenos dias. Today is a big day because we are now officially at the halfway mark of this pregnancy. Today is the day I turned 20 weeks and we're heading over to our doctor's appointment. And this is technically the appointment where they would tell us what the sex of the baby is. But because we are trying to wait until the baby's born, we're not gonna find out. I'm also crossing my fingers that if it's a boy, we don't see anything because we might see stuff if it's a boy. Are you gonna be subconsciously looking for it? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Is like, that a thing? I don't know. Is that part You know what's funny? Um, so I posted uh, like our last ultrasound thing that we had at 12 weeks, I posted it on Instagram. There were people saying like, it's a boy. Or actually, even here in this vlog, um, there were people saying like, it's a boy, it's definitely a boy. I definitely see, you know, uh, boy parts. At 12 weeks though, it was like, if there is anything between their legs, it's just either their leg that you're getting it mixed up with or their, the umbilical cord. Cause they're, at 12 weeks, there's no genitalia that weeks there is and so I don't know like we might be seeing um, like an umbilical cord or it might be uh, yeah, it's an umbilical cord. That's a what boy it is. part umbilical cord. <laughs> yeah, I don't know but I don't know and then I have no clue what a girl would look like I've, I don't seen know one. never seen one on an ultrasound so I don't know but everyone's saying it's a boy now like everyone <laughs> that I've come in contact with that's talking about whether or not it's a boy or girl, they're all like, I have a feeling it's a boy. I have a, it's a gut feeling it's a boy. I don't know. Where early on it was girls. Everyone was, everyone saying, was girl. saying girl. Well, everyone was saying that they want us to have a girl because we don't have a girl. True. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of boy predictions. But on my Instagram recently, there's a lot of girl predictions. So who knows? I don't know. We don't know. My own personal prediction is that we're having a boy. That's just because the way that this belly is forming, you know, like, I don't know if you guys know that old, like, old wives tale, like, if you're having a boy, the belly, like, pops out, and it's just like a tiny little basketball in front of your body, and then if it's a girl, and the belly ends up, like, growing, like, more sideways, like, more wider. And to me, I mean, this is a really bad position, because I'm sitting down, and it looks pretty wide right now, but to me, this, this belly has been forming into a boy belly, so... I don't know. Also, like, you know, at 20 weeks, I'm now five months. It's like, I don't know, my belly's kind of, there's people saying that it's a small belly. They're like, oh, at five months? Like, okay. Like, it's it's a decent size. I don't know. Especially because of a recent post that I uploaded on Instagram too, where I was like sitting on a bench. And the way I was sitting, like my belly was really like popping out a lot. So then people were like, whoa, you have a big belly, but. I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's kind of the same situation like when I was pregnant with Isaac. Like, I am pretty much the, the same. Like, the same belly size at this amount of weeks. Like, it didn't really pop out very much. Um, I don't know. But I am wearing my maternity yoga pants that came in. So, see, they're kind of, they're kind of loose. <laughs> yeah, in the vlog where we uh, went to Solvang, uh -huh. you were saying how it was just like so uncomfortable for you and you were like, I need to go shopping, I need to go shopping. Yeah, you go shopping? I finally went shopping, I ordered these on Amazon. All my clothes that I bought for maternity wear fit me really loose because I don't have like a really big belly yet. So it's not really holding we'll on to much. Into it. Yeah, I'll grow into it. So we're going to see the baby again today. I'm so excited. I wonder how much bigger they look. They're gonna be moving a lot. According to the technician because she wasn't able to get one particular photo she got kind of blurry and she wanted to get it clear which was a heart and she's like oh it's okay um we'll just schedule you to come back for another session 
Um, but what they don't know is that I'm switching doctors. Ooh. This is actually my last appointment here and we're switching over to another place that's more like midwife based care. So here it's more like OBGYN, like medical doctor based care. I realized like after coming here a couple times, I'm like, oh, this ain't my thing. I want to go to a midwife. So we're actually switching, but they don't know. So anyway, um, <laughs> but it was really cool though because uh, we told the technician that we didn't want to know what the sex of the baby was. So she's like, okay, I'll let you know when to look away when I get closer to that area. So she told us, so we looked away. We're like, okay, we don't know anything. We can't see anything. And the baby was like in a ball. So they're like literally like this. And then like the legs were like this. So yeah, it was just really uh, hard to see much anything like yeah. anyway but it was really cute seeing the baby all bald up because it was like you know doing it looked like it was doing this the entire time yeah. like with both hands like uh, well, yeah. i'm holding the camera but like it was like this and it was like mm. yeah they had their hands balled up too because she kept trying to see like one of the hands like we were able to see one hand but then the other one like they were just like not letting go they're just like this it was really cute. Oh my god, they're shy. <laughs> Just like their daddy. I was reading a book called Sapiens and they talk about how like you can tell if someone is introverted just ran at birth. They, if they shy away from loud noises or they yeah. shy away from certain things like they tend to be more introverted where extroverted uh, babies are gonna look towards they, look, they look towards these things like well what's that you know so a i have a hunch or maybe our baby might be an introverted kid and then I mean, it's not it's not surprising because i'm a very introverted person and then tiff i don't know what you are i know i'm kind of both yeah like you, you show signs of both things yeah i don't know because i used to be super extroverted because that's like mexican culture like is nothing but extroverts as long as I've ever known. I didn't even know there was such thing as introverted people. Like that just didn't compute until I met you. But yeah, like after being with you for so long and then getting accustomed to your vibe, your way of living, being more comfortable at home or whatever, I'm like, mm, yeah, I kind of would rather not be around a lot of people, just be alone. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, is it draining for you to be I'm around a, people? I'm a hybrid now. Um, is it draining? It can be. Yeah, it's always draining for me like, without without fail. It's like if I'm around other people, not that I don't like being around other people, but it makes me feel like, okay, I need a break. The next time, the next chance I get, I'm taking a break and I just need some quiet time. Like, that's my go-to. Yeah, I don't think I've ever explicitly felt that. Like I need to get away, I need to be alone. I've never felt that. What I do feel though, it's like when I am alone and I do end up like not being around people, then I'm like, oh, this is nice. I don't know if anything like of the spectrum of like introvert, extrovert, I feel like I'm more introverted now yeah. than I ever was my whole life. So maybe that's why we're making that introverted baby here. My introverted baby. That they shied away from shy. this uh, ultrasound. Yeah, they're just like no, look away. Cause it was cute. Cause then she would like get a good, like a good still of the their actual face. Mm -hmm. And then it's like almost like they heard us or something. And as soon as like the face was like this, and they go like this. <laughs> and maybe it's an artistic baby. It's like oh, I'm yeah. just trying to give us the good angles. They're just like it's my first photo shoot. Okay, let me show you what I got. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for is it next week? Next a week and a half when we're gonna go to the new doctor well yeah. midwife but yeah new facility mm -hmm. to get our care there and see like what the difference is and because I, I kind of don't like how busy this office is too like it yeah, just they churn feels, you out it's like a yeah, factory exactly it feels like a factory I'm not a fan of that and I'm not a fan of like how we have to wait for freaking ever when we already have our appointment yeah so I'm looking forward to the other facility that we're gonna go to because they're more like, we're giving you our attention, you're here, we're not gonna waste your time. Yeah. We're not, we don't have a ton of clients. Like it's like based on caring, mm -hmm. you know? Especially since I'm gonna be attempting a VBAC, which is called, which stands for vaginal birth after cesarean because like I had a C-section with Isaac. I wanna have a vaginal birth, like a natural birth. It's really important to try to go to a provider that like will support that and here sounds like they're kind of like and eh, we'll see what happens and i don't know just yeah i didn't like it when i gave birth to isaac um it was at a major hospital like a big group that's really really popular here in socal at least usually like everyone wants to go there and all that stuff and it's fine but i just did not enjoy at all how they made me feel like cattle it was just like all right come in come out and i don't know i just i hated it so then now for this one i'm like 
oh, I'm getting the same vibes from this place. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I, I gotta peace out. <laughs> yeah, follow your, your instincts. Yeah.